So good morning, Antonio Conte has finally left Chelsea. Uh, this morning the club have announced that they have sacked Antonio Conte and it's likely that now Sarri will come in in the next few days. So how did this time go? Well I think it was a success really. Um, so obviously he came uh, from Italy. <clears throat> been very successful everywhere he went um you know very successful at Syria uh one Serie B and you know did okay as Italy manager um he came in at a time where they needed him to to really um rejuvenate the side um they had that terrible run under Mourinho and then Hidden came in for a while and Nobody expected them to do as well as they did, and they won the Premier League in his first season. Uh, they lost the uh, FA Cup final, didn't they? And when that happened, there were some problems after, uh, which were things like uh, the whole situation with Costa. And he's had problems since we've played other people like David Luiz. He hasn't been in the side for months. And you could tell he was very unhappy with the transfer dealings. Um, which probably went down to his downfall. He had 65% win ratio. And that is throughout his time. So he was very successful uh, during those two years. Um, <clears throat> so in the first season, obviously they had no... Uh, no football uh, in Europe, and they managed to finish top of the league. Uh, they won 30 games, which was a record. Um, nobody had won 30 games. Uh, that record was broken the next year, of course, by Manchester City. Uh, but he was backed tremendously well in the, in the summer uh, that year. They brought in uh, Michi Bacuayi. They brought in N'Golo Conte. They brought in... Marcus Alonso, and they brought in uh, David Luiz. Um, players went out, obviously. So Mohamed Salah went out, uh, Marin went out, uh, Oscar, John Obi Mikel, uh, but you know none of them were really, really starters. Uh, so they finished runners up in the FA Cup and they finished for fourth round, but they were really, really, really good season. And in the next season, obviously they won the FA Cup, beating Manchester United in the final. They got to the semi-finals of the League Cup uh, before losing to Arsenal, uh, which was a theme in the Community Shield. Uh, once again, losing to Arsenal. They finished fifth, just outside the playoffs after a horrendous run in about February. Um, which saw them go from you know pushing for second to pushing for um, you know in, in into the Europa League, and you know that's probably what has cost him the job in the end. Uh, so <clears throat> there was a lot of transfers done, um, but none of them you know would any of them get into a Manchester City or Manchester United. So they signed Willy Caballero, Antonio Rudiger, Bakayoko, Morata, Sabaleta, Danny Drinkwater, Ross Barkley, Emerson, and Olivier Giroud. Now those are very, very, very average signings, and you know I don't think anyone disagrees with that. Out they had a lot of outs. Uh, Begovic went to Solanke, Atsu, uh, Juan Cuadrado. Uh, Bertrand, Traore, Aki, Nathaniel, Chalabar, uh, Matic, and then, of course, Diego Costa. And, you know, there was a lot of problems between between the board. And, you know, this has been going on for an awful while. And I think it's very unprofessional that this has been going on for so long. Um, you know, he's taken the bloody first week of training, for goodness sake. Um, they haven't got any sign-ins. They're so behind. The window shuts in less than a month, and they're so behind, so behind uh, everyone else. 
and you know they they've not announced any signings obviously besides you know young players um nobody's gone out of note and a lot of loan signings obviously have gone out uh, the likes of kennedy uh, jark jake clark jake clark salter uh Stujan stern trevor chalabar um have all gone out to jamal blackman uh so they have a lot of catching up to do now they have a lot of catching up to do and it is up to uh, Sari or whoever takes over, which it's going to be Sari, um, to try and sort that out. One thing I will say is the situation with um, the situation is if you don't get success every single season, then you get sacked, and that's a very very difficult sort of. Uh, mindset, uh, you know, that's why Real Madrid have had so many managers. Man City stuck with Pep Guardiola after, you know, a, a, a poor season and it really paid off. Uh, so, you know, but Sarri plays great football. He, um, you know, he knows what he wants. He's a bit of a controversial figure, but that's who they want and that's who they're going to get. Um, and that's a very exciting for Chelsea to have a different, totally different style of play than they've had for years and years and years. Um, so that is very exciting as well. Uh, so I'm going to leave that there. Thank you so much for watching this video. Uh, subscribe if you're new. My name is Mike and I, of course, will see you soon.